It's a hard topic to talk about. A lot of people have died prematurely before they could even accomplish their dreams. Gun violence, that's taking that's young people's life. lives. I'm consistently thinking about the people that I've lost. Not even two months ago. It's our homecoming picture. <laughs> Jasmine Barrett lost someone incredibly close to her. Amar Ashawn Murphy Payne. Okay, say his name loud and proud. He was my significant other. Amar was shot and killed at Garfield High School. He was attempting to break up a fight when shots rang out. He was part of the same programs Jasmine Barrett and Amir Tedesi also participate in. Southeast Network and Youth Force, run by the Boys and Girls Club of King County. We've lost a number of young people to gun violence just this year. Both program directors are actively working to change lives for the better. I think that you can't do this work without caring. I think this is an all hands on deck kind of situation where we really just need everyone to contribute. Recently, Youth Force interns like Marquise Garrett went to D.C. to present their project to reduce and prevent gun violence. So we're trying to equip and give the students those tools to make what they need like actually come true. It's just one way these youth and the Boys and Girls Club of King County are working together to save more lives so they never have to attend another funeral for their friend, their partner, or classmate ever again. We need each other. We deserve each other. And we should come together always. And tomorrow, a community activation plan for healing will happen at that very Safeway parking lot where the shooting happened one year ago to mark all the progress they've made since then. Live in Seattle tonight, Madison Wade, King 5 News.